Hello, and welcome to the WizIQ Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how you can communicate using audio video streaming to communicate with learners in your live class. This feature allows you to conduct a live audio chat with an unlimited number of attendees and a video chat with up to five attendees simultaneously. Make sure your computer's microphone, camera, and speakers are working. Alternatively, you can access the device settings by clicking the Class Options drop-down menu in the top right corner of your classroom. In this window, you can check the settings of your speakers, camera, and microphone. Ensure to adjust the volume so that the audio becomes clearly audible. But don't keep it too loud, which may cause audio distortion in the class. You can adjust your camera settings by selecting the webcam then checking if you can see yourself clearly. Adjust your webcam's position, lighting, and your distance from the camera if required. You can test your system speakers by clicking the Test Speakers button and then adjusting the playback volume to an appropriate level. Once you're done, save your device settings by clicking the I'm good to go button. When you launch your class for the first time using your web browser, an Adobe Flash Player settings window will appear. Select Allow in the window to use microphone and camera in your live class. Select Remember if you don't wish to see this pop-up every time you launch the class. If you are using the WizIQ desktop app, the Adobe Flash Player window doesn't appear as the desktop app doesn't require Flash Player to run the audio-video feature. As a teacher, you can grant device permissions to all attendees simultaneously. To grant permission to an attendee to transmit audio and video, Go to the Attendee list on the right. Locate the attendee you want to give permission to and click the camera icon next to their name. In case you wish to grant only audio control, click on the microphone icon. You can revoke this permission at any time by clicking on the respective icon again. If your learners have camera controls and they are sharing their videos, this is where they will appear. Make full use of your screen space by clicking on the video options and selecting Maximize which will maximize the video in the virtual classroom. This new layout will show your videos as well as the learner's videos being streamed underneath. Click the learner's video to maximize it. You can also stop receiving videos of other attendees if you don't wish to view them by clicking the camera icon next to their name. You can resume video broadcast by clicking the camera icon again. To go back, click the video options here and click Restore. You can also click on the camera icon here to disable video broadcast. We hope this tutorial helped you understand live audio and video streaming in the WizIQ Virtual Classroom. If you still have some questions, you can get in touch with us at support at WizIQ.com. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great class.